I always say that I believe individuals with disabilities should be among those that receive the first portions of government funding, and instead, historically, you know, they've tended to have to fight for the crumbs off the table. They don't have as much uh, comparative lobbying influence or money uh, to be able to drive legislation in the Capitol, and yet, you know, they're among our most vulnerable citizens, and we all know the quotes about how societies are judged by how we take care of and treat our most vulnerable citizens. And for me, I've always said the big three for me are vulnerable seniors, at-risk women and children, and individuals with physical and developmental disabilities. And uh, so, you know, to be able to have a new committee formed on disability services, have an opportunity from the speaker to chair that, you know, I believe we've made some very rapid and groundbreaking progress on that front.